Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R720 XD server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on the different chassis types. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R720 XD server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's, uh, let's hop into it. This video is going to be specifically focused on the different chassis types for the XD. So really, there are two types of chassis, uh, and it's based around the storage. Uh, everything else is the same inside. Uh, some systems that'll be like different PCIe's uh, will have uh, just little intricate details that are different and honestly the only difference on these is the storage. So you have the uh, 24 bay which is a uh, small form factor and you have the 12 bay which is the large form factor. That's the difference right there. They both got six PCIe's in the slot, three being low profile, three being high profile. And really we're gonna use this as an opportunity more to just do a good uh, general overview. We'll open it up. We'll show you just some of the different components as, as a whole inside. But realistically, the series is gonna cover uh, more in depth on each one of those components. But we'll go ahead and kind of like highlight everything right now and we'll just hop in. All right, so let's go ahead and open the XD up and show you the insides because the guts are the same on both. So just pop your latch, lift your top off. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll show you, uh, let's remove the air baffle. One of the things I did want to note about the air baffle that is nice, it does show you uh, on here CPU 1, CPU 2, uh, all the dim slots are actually labeled on here. So you can uh, actually put this to the side and kind of use it as a helpful guide. So you will notice uh, this is the one we've been working on throughout the series. So uh, you have uh, the CPUs, uh, CPU 1 and CPU 2, your 24 DIMM slots. You're going to have your fan bank here. You're going to have your back plane, which the hot swap drives plug into. If you uh, follow this cable around right here, it goes to your uh, RAID card. Then you have riser 1, riser 2, riser 3. You have your uh, NIC card back here. With the risers, uh, you're able to put in six PCIe cards, three low profile, three high profile. So all three low profile are right here, two high profile right here, one high profile right here. Uh, then over here, you have your two redundant power supplies and you have your two uh, rear 2.5 inch drives where you could put in um, SSDs or uh, SAS or SATA 2.5 inches right here. Um, and that's kind of as a quick an easy overview the heart of the system obviously there's a lot more than just that uh, but that's the heart of the system and we will go over pretty much all of it uh, in detail in different videos uh, so if there's something that specifically you're interested in uh, hopefully we cover it if not hey do us a favor drop a comment down below tell us what you're interested in and we will try to work it in uh, to future series circle back in the future maybe do one for this series uh, just kind of depends it's, it's tough to do uh, everything but we're trying to do as many series as we can and not come out um, but we definitely appreciate everyone that watches and subscribes and uh, if you guys are looking for a custom built server, we'd love the opportunity to help you out. Uh, we custom build Dell, HPE, Super Micro, IBM, Cisco. We're doing uh, white box systems that are Gigabyte and Azrock and Azus and Tyann. Uh, you name it, we're doing it and we'd love the opportunity to earn uh, your, your data center's business. So please email us at sales at cloudinch.com. That's sales at cloudinch.com. And if you made it this far, hey, click that like and smash that subscribe. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.